Hey there, welcome to today's video. Well, I have a good news today. I just got my Canon EOS 70D and I'm really happy and very excited because of the camera. It's a very good camera. I've been shooting videos for a while using a very bad camera actually. The camera is so bad that it's you it has to it operates itself. I can't control it most of the times. So it decides what it's going to allow me to do. But I've been taking pictures at weddings. I go and take products videos and make very give them very a very very surprisingly amazing outcome and they are really always satisfied with it even though nobody knows the secret that the camera is always pretty bad anyway the part the what i'm going to share with you today is the secret of how i have been making very good videos how i have been taking very good pictures even though i've been using a bad camera for years these secrets and these tips will really help you no matter the smartphone you are using, no matter the type of camera you are using, no matter how bad the camera you are using is, you can still take good pictures and make good videos. How is that even possible? Well, let's find out. Okay, so let's get to the point. <laughs> now, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you some tips that you can use when making pictures that is really going to help you get a better outcome. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about what's wrong about my camera. I was using a, using a Pentax K100, which is a pretty old camera. And one very interesting thing about the camera is the fact that it allows me to shoot completely manual. So I think that's the first thing you need to notice about the camera using. Does it allow you to shoot completely manual? Does it allow you to shoot in the aperture mode and in the shutter power rate mode? If your camera allows you to shoot in these modes, then definitely your camera is still good and it can be, still be used. So if you can shoot completely manual, you can set your shutter speed, you can set your aperture and you can set your highest. So please, that was the only thing I could do with my camera and still I like, get so many jobs with it. Even though my camera would not allow me to preview it, I have to take, make my settings right and take the pictures just once or twice without having to know if it's good or bad. And at the end, it has to be good because, you know, if it's a wedding, you can't really make, make everyone to come back there and dress and invite everyone over again. So you're in trouble. So you have to make sure the photos are nice and the videos are nice on the first shots. So if your camera or your smartphone allows you to set completely manual, then no matter how bad it is, even if it's like my person itself or is having less contact issues, then you can still use it to get a good result. So the second thing you need to consider that is very important to your pictures, the picture quality is your lightning. Your lightning is very, very, very important. Photography is all about light. It's where you place your light, the angle you place your light, the intensity of your light, the direction of the light, that's going to determine the type of picture, the type of video you are going to get. Now, for my own camera issue, I could not really take good pictures indoors. So most times I take my pictures outdoors and that's why I was normally known and generally known as an outdoor photographer. I try and take my pictures outdoors because of the sunlight. So make sure if your camera does not have, does not support you using the flashlight, I don't have one yet. Try and shoot your pictures out to the best you can. Try not to use a direct flash. Don't use a direct flash of your camera or your smartphone. It's very tempting, especially if you are in a very dark environment. So don't use it. That's the second secret and the second tip you can use to get a very good result using a bad camera or a smartphone. Try using different composition and camera angles shoots from different perspective now if you are taking just a picture of a wedding of a bride and a groom the couple and you take a, just one pose and you use different composition method you should try using even if it's just one posture and you get different shots different angle a close-up a wide shot an extreme wide shot and you will be able to get different shots using just one posture and composition methods so that's it for today those are tv secrets that could really help you to get very good results even if you are using a very bad camera or you are just shooting with your smartphone if you enjoyed this video 
please give us a thumbs up because we are going to be dropping very 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 interesting and entertaining and educative information so see you in another video bye bye, bye, -bye. subscribe to our youtube channel the camera is very expensive oh that yeah, girl's a thumbs up yeah. thumbs us up thumb us up thumb us up thumbs up up thumb us thumb us